hello, my husters. Oh, what did y'all think about the game yesterday? My my uh, my Chiefs, they they won. My Kansas Chiefs, yeah. Oh, thank y'all so much for looking at my videos and supporting my channel, sharing me and like. So let's say prayers. I think y'all see what we're gonna be eating today. Father God, thank you for this beautiful new week, this day. Thank you, Father God. Oh, I just want to say thank you. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. I love y'all. Y'all know that, right? I'm struggling with my, my hair, y'all. I don't want to do all that heat and damage it either, so... I hope maybe I can roll it. I don't know what rollers I can do for this effect. But, yeah, I don't want to keep heating it up every morning. All right, y'all. This is our cocktail and combo today. Um, if I have to say anything to Salud, it's just y'all. My new hustlers coming in. And you want to join the Hustas family? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Ding dong, ding dong. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and give a thumbs up. I this is the first day I say thumbs up my videos if you like it. Yes. So thank you for growing my channel. Yeah, it's organic and it's okay. So let's uh, sip sip. No, wait. Salut, salut. Sip, sip, sip the dust mm -hmm. That's good, y'all. Today, we are eating chicken pot stickers. Mm-hmm. Look at that. We have some vegetable spring rolls, and we have, of course... Uh, some sushi with crab meat, avocado, spicy mayonnaise, and I got some extra spicy mayonnaise. I got the dip for the um, pot stickers and then uh, some dip for the egg rolls. So, y'all, this is a new week. Um, I'm expecting some greatness coming in in my life, and I thank God for it. And so, yeah. So... Where do we want to start? Do y'all want a piece of uh, sushi? Take a bite. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. That's delicious. That spicy uh, mayonnaise is really good, too. Mm-hmm. Mm. That is good. Mm hmm. My God. That really is good. How are y'all doing today? Did y'all have a really good time yesterday? I did. The game was good. I cheered. I know my neighbors was like, because I ain't hear nobody else cheering. So I think they was for the 49ers. Oh. Oh, y'all. Hear that crunch? Mm -mm -mm. I fired them in my air fryer. Mm -hmm. There's something about that air fryer, y'all. It really is. You know, I did my chicken yesterday on the air fryer. So good. Really, really good. It's hot. Oh, I just took them out. Oh, it's hot. I just took them out. Y'all, yeah. I was thinking about, you know, my life, my story, life goes on. I haven't, I took a week off, as y'all know. <laughs>
even though my life was challenging, I have to say I, 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 had, I still had a really good life, you know. Look where I am today. You know? Mm. Mm. I went out today looking for uh, some cameras. I don't know. I saw one. It was called GoPro. GoPro, Go, GoPro 8. I don't know anything about YouTube cameras. So can y'all let me know if the GoPro 8, because I really liked it. I don't know what the sound is, though. I don't know if I need to uh, buy an extra mic. I don't know. So whoever has a GoPro, comment below to tell me if it's a good deal. GoPro 8, actually. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm ready, y'all. I'm ready to stop using my... uh. My phone. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is so good. When I was out riding, driving, I was thinking, what can I do a boot bomb? I met some cool people today, y'all. They will be looking at my channel today. Mm-hmm. They thought the name was cool. You know, that hood girl, <laughs> too. Yeah, they thought it was a cool name. I also learned um, something about cooked snow crabs in the, in the market. A lady told me how to steam them because I never had the cook uh, snow crabs. I always cook my own. So I'm, I, I bought two just to see, you know, if I can do it. Huh? Give me some hinters, all my veteran YouTubers. To, to tell me how uh, I can cook the cooked uh, snow crab. It's already cooked. I was iffy about it, but a customer and the lady behind the counter. <laughs> Y'all, here we go. They said, go ahead, try it. And I'm like, you know what? Uh-oh. I'm going to try it. So, again, I bought two. Where's my... I just said, where's my pickle ginger? Ooh, y'all, when I do, when I do that, ooh, I told y'all, I'm going to knock that drink over. I told y'all I have some uh, Dash dipping butter sauce in the freezer. <laughs> when I do them snow crabs, I think I'm going to do snow crabs, blue crabs, and some shrimp. Maybe a couple of potatoes. Y'all know I'm not that potato girl. Mm, mm, mm. That is so good. So, let me see. I was thinking about when we were still in the house with mother. I remember a time. Uh, well, I don't want to tell no sad stories no more, y'all. All I know is healing. I don't want no more sad stories. That one, that one kind of falling apart, y'all. It really is. How about I pick this one up by hand? I haven't even tasted my spring roll, have I? Mm. Mm. 
um, I've been looking at some ASMR videos. I don't know if I can do a video without talking. <laughs> I'm going to try one. Should I? Should not? That's the question. All right, let's see what this is all about. I also put that in the FIA as well. Mm hmm Look at that. Oh. That's duck sauce. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, hot inside. Mm. Mm. Oh, good. It says vegetable. It's more dough. It's more dough than anything inside of there. I see some cabbage and some carrots. And a lot of dough. <laughs> Good though. Oh, hot. That's that smoke. Uh, hot. Oh, uh uh, uh uh. Mm. That's hot. Oh, my God. It's good. Yeah, I'm so happy about my YouTube channel. I am. You know, sometimes, you know, I wake up, you know, after I praise God and do all my other ritual stuff. Um, I think about what am I gonna eat today? Cause y'all already know I'm that I'm that uh leftover girl. Honey, I can eat leftovers a lot. Mm-hmm. But I know y'all don't want to see leftovers all the time. Maybe if I be oh, well, if I was create a create what was creative, you know, uh, to change. Uh, this is my my ginger, y'all. Uh, the difference of what I cooked, you know, make some pancake chicken. <laughs> oh, mm mm. Ooh, that pickle ginger is good. Mm -hmm. I told y'all I had a jar of pickle ginger in my pantry because if I can't get my hands on some beat up sauce, I'm going to make hers again, you know, the way she told us to a long time ago. But when I first made it the first two times, I couldn't not find the uh, pickled ginger and uh, the Coca-Cola. I don't drink Coca-Cola, y'all. I don't know if I'm putting Coca-Cola in that. Mmm, what's hot? Mmm. Ooh. No, I went to visit mother this Saturday. Well, I went to go visit all my elders um, on my daddy's side and, of course, my mama when I'm on that side of town. I told y'all, I try to visit her every other Sunday or when I'm in the neighborhood. But I was at the meat market, and my auntie on my daddy's side, my first auntie's on my daddy's side, his sisters, they live not far. Well, one of them lived not far from the meat market, so I called up and told her, I was coming. And remember I told you I lost my last living uh, uncle, my daddy's brother. Everybody was coming in for the funeral. And so when I was leaving her house, I ran into a new another auntie who lived somewhere in Texas. I can't tell y'all where she lived. But when we took that picture, she said, Nita, you just like us. I said, I know, baby. It's the jeans. Mm -hmm. I got some beautiful. Well, They have such beautiful white hair. White, beautiful hair. So, I wonder if I can take it from 
My daddy's side, because my mama is turning gray very slow, and she's 76. She only have a few strands of gray, and she don't die out. She wants to be so great, but it's not coming fast enough for my mom. But, you know, y'all know the life I had with mother. So, you know, we still got to love our mamas. But I was there on Saturday. And she brought something from the past, like, 10 years ago, I think. I'm sitting there trying to enjoy the food she cooked. So she brings it up. And my dad passed away. How long ago? So she brings it up. I remember when I used to come over here and visit your daddy. And I lived right up the street and you didn't even come see me. But you forget that we wasn't talking at the time because of your evil ways, woman. You forget what you do, but you call out everything what somebody else don't do. Who does that? Older people. So I told her this. I said, oh, that's big. I said, let's do it. Stop bringing up old stuff. That stuff's so old. My daddy been gone. How many years are you still harping on when I ain't come to see you? Well, guess what? You the only one I come see today. So be grateful, lady. Y'all saw that look. Just be grateful. You still alive. I'm alive. I come see you. All the time. Be grateful. Who cares what I didn't do 10 years ago? Did you, did you, do you remember what you did 10 years ago? Or you didn't do? Stop bringing up that old past. Lady. I'm sitting in front of your face right now. Be grateful. Because y'all already know. I got a problem with people who wait till you die to come into your presence. I'm alive. I can touch you. I can hug you. You can have all these conversations between each other. You know, you can see every expression when I speak. And when I can see yours when you speak. When you come to my, my casket, you can't see nothing but a still body. With the same expression. Y'all get that? That's why I was trying to tell my mother. I'm in your face right now. You can see me. You can hear my frustration when I tell you leave that old stuff in the old, in the past. You know, I gotta, you know, I'm just talking all over the place, y'all. That's okay. My middle son called me this morning. And he said, Mama, I love you. I said, Baby, I love you too. What's going on? He said, Mama, I have a question. And, you know, he got this new girlfriend. I ain't never met her before, but obviously uh, they was having a discussion. He said, Mama, I just need you to answer one question for me. And honesty. And I said, well, Andre, do you know me to be anything else but honest? Have I ever told a lie? Of course. He said this. If you have an ex, if you have an ex, would you text your ex, ex, how you doing, or what you doing? Well, you know, you know, last evening, I already told you I was married. When you, when you decide to do a divorce, be done with it. Don't go back and forward. When you're done, you're done. The same, and I said, in the same in relationships as well. When you're done, you're done. It's just too much confusion when you keep in contact. You don't have to break up with bad feelings. That's not what I'm saying. 
But when you have another man that you say you love in your presence or in your life, why are you texting your ex? It's confusion. So I told him, I said, well, Andre, you know how I feel about that. When you have an ex, that means it's an ex you broke up for a reason. And if he hadn't, if he or she hadn't went to no counseling or no anything, why the hell are you going to go back? Why are you trying to keep in contact? They still the same. So I guess he had me on speaker. <laughs> And she was saying something. I ain't hear clearly, but she was definitely saying something. And then he said, man. Mm, I got everything doing on my mouth. Oh, good Lord. He said, man, but, you know, that's why I was trying to tell you. Man, he had asked, why you, why you texting him in the morning, talking about what you doing? Mm, oh. Do people try to do that foolish stuff to make somebody jealous? You, can, you know, you can cause trouble. You can't play on people's feelings, especially not today. Y'all don't know what the mindset is with people today. Because that Bible says every generation is, is uh, wise, yet weaker. Understand what that says and what it means. They can have a whole lot of wisdom, but they, they can't go through nothing. They're weak. Remember I said like three days ago with that jealous stuff, that temporary insanity shit that you plead uh, because you didn't kill somebody? Be careful what y'all do, people. Especially my young generation. Don't try to make nobody jealous trying to text your ex in front of them. Man, it's disrespectful. If you do that, you have no respect, not even for your own self. And so for the person who who's looking at it, then what you going to do? You going you going to argue with her or him? You going to, you know, you teach people how to treat you. Oh, where did that come from? Mm. Oh, let me say that again cuz that that spoke to me and it just came out, y'all. You teach people how to treat you. Mm. You know what that says? They only only going to do what you allow them to do. They going to treat you like you allow them to treat you. Fool. <clears throat> Ooh. <clears throat> y'all already know me. <laughs> My new hustlers that's coming in, y'all going to learn me. I'm a I I'm I'm 100. It it comes out. I don't know everything cuz I'm still learning. But my God, that foolish bull crap that people try to put on you today, you better learn how to tell them to move around. Move around, fool. Lish person. <laughs> mm-hmm. Move around. You better got time for your foolishness. Stop trying to make people jealous texting your ex. And if you are, you know, me, I already told y'all, in my relationships that I have, the few I have, when the breakup is, I have to take years. I don't go from one man to another in months. That's crazy. You, you, you haven't healed. And sometimes when you go through your breakups, you, you got to, you, you got to, Got to think about some stuff, cause maybe something or you didn't do or you did hurt your relationship. So sometimes you got to fix your stuff, and you can't do it overnight. And then you want to go back because y'all broke up, and it was always for a reason when you broke up. Why do you go back? Did y'all do counseling? 
Did y'all sit down and talk about it and find the root and, and dig the root out so all the problem can kind of, you know, solve and be resolved betwixt the both of y'all? Huh. I'm going to say this one more time. Relationships, marriages is my forte. I have experience, experience with both years. I have wisdom that God gave me with both. Studying with both. When you are finished, when your relationship is broken and battered and bruised, you are in the same way. When you figure out that y'all not good for one another and y'all break up, be broke up. I'm going to leave that right there, but we definitely going to talk about this some more. Because so many people go back and forward and forward and back and back. And, that was a, uh oh, don't let me sing that. Uh uh. That ain't no song, y'all. Don't copyright me. <laughs> Stop doing it. It's, it's, it's harmful. Mm -hmm. So, thank y'all for coming. Thank y'all for sitting with me. Thank y'all for sipping with me. Uh, thank you for eating your food with me. Thank you. So before you leave my new hoodsters, I know y'all gonna subscribe. So thank you. Who for the other one says thinking about it, do it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that notification bell right on the side. Ding dong, ding dong. Don't forget to give me a thumbs. Let me put these sticks down. Let me put a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, and like. And with that said, I'll see y'all tomorrow, honey. Have a great day. And I love you all. And